It is the middle of summer, about to be 90 degrees again, so what better time than now to talk hockey? Technically not ice hockey, but Crunch Street Hockey. Joining us now is Syracuse Crunch Chief Operating Officer, Jim Sorosi. Jim, it's always good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Always right back at you. Thanks for the opportunity. Um, so it's technically the offseason, although I don't even know if that's a such thing anymore. Um, your organization has a pretty fun event on Saturday. What is the Street Crunch Celebrity Game all about? Really, what, what it is, is it's just an opportunity for all of our season ticket holders and fans to get together and see each other. The, so much of what we do is building relationships and putting people together. And, and years and years and years ago, folks, there was a little bit of an upswell. Say, so, hey, why don't you do something? So we, we miss our friends from the, the winter and everything. So we we came up with this, oh, geez, probably 20, 25 years ago uh, to, to do a game like this where we can get everybody together. It's yeah. kind of grown since then. Um, there, there's more to it than, than just the, uh, the the street hockey game. What, what else can fans uh, do and check out uh, on uh, tomorrow? Yeah, so at this one, it's it's getting everybody together. We have a dunk tank for charity. We're mm -hmm. going to put Vance Peterman, myself, some other staff members in there. So if you're ever mad at any of us, you'll get a chance to put us in there. That's all for our Crunch Foundation. We're going to debut a new um, debit card, which we're very excited about with Summit um, Summit Federal Credit Union. Um, and then the game itself, it, mm -hmm. it, it's a little bit of a hiatus. We took a couple of years off here, and it, it's now it's back. It was time to do it, and, and we're ready to kind of give it a little bit of a re birth with all our, our local media friends how, how many how many staff members do you think are going to be lining up for that dunk tank thing you and Vance I think are going to be in you, there if i'm in there it's everyone maybe oh, fans too but yeah <laughs> this um, is their chance so so give us the specifics uh, what are, what are the times tomorrow do you need tickets um what do people need to know about it yeah no no tickets yeah. anybody who shows up you just come in we're going to be giving away a victor headman jersey to anybody who just shows up it'll be a raffle so everybody who shows up has an opportunity to win mm -hmm. that Puck drop is at 11 o'clock and it's on montgomery street right outside of the building um you've also been doing um something with the kids uh street hockey wise as well well is we about in the middle of that yeah, exactly. We, this is our second of four. Every year we'll we'll close off the last two Saturdays in July, first two in August. We close off Montgomery Street, and, and that's exactly right. We have our, our Street Crunch program. That's ages five and five and up, and we, we go to about age 16, 17, and that's ongoing, and we usually try to take the second one of that, which we're doing this year, and that's where we'll put this event around that. But it, it's a great opportunity. So it, It's so neat to see the kids, and, and, and Jeff, we I think we've talked about it in the past. I mean, now we're having play players from the first years their kids are playing wow. and so it's showing a little bit of our age but but that's what it's about and yeah. that's very cool we're, and we're trying to, to grow that love of the game people can still sign up if they didn't take part in the first two yeah, so you can yeah, sign okay. up sign up okay. right up there all info's okay. on our site gotcha. syracusecrunch.com but you're more than welcome to sign up what uh, a day of all right uh i know it's still end of july but uh before you know it the boys are gonna be lacing up those skates for preseason camp so what are you and your team uh working on right now and it is, it's, it's, you're right, I, when you started, there, there is no off-season anymore, mm -hmm. good and bad with all of that. Yeah. Right now, it's just preparation. We're putting our theme nights together, our group nights together, our giveaways together, all our appearances and all of that, and then literally putting the team together yeah. on top of that. So it, it, you're right, it'll be here before you know it. Every time I go online, you, you the back of the jerseys type of thing, 81 days left, 80 <laughs> days left, and, and we're almost there. Yeah. Um, you know, l last one for you, you got about maybe un just under a minute left. I mean, this is going to be season number 31 for the crunch in Syracuse. I mean, that's one of the longest runs in the AHL, I think behind only Hershey, which started like a million years ago, and then Providence, I think, got you beat by maybe like two years. What's the recipe for success for the crunch in Syracuse? Why has this worked so well? It's something we're very proud of. I tell a lot of people when they, you know, your favorite moments and everything. My favorite moment is that longevity, the fact that we're going into year 31. Howard is number one in independent ownership. We're number two in consecutive ownership right mm -hmm. behind Hershey, and we're fourth overall in, in teams. And the reason is very simple. It's it's the people. It's the area. Yeah. It's it's Onondaga County. It's our corporate partners. It's our fan base. It's the media. We've been treated so well. In, since we came to town in 94, 95, it's, it, it, you almost pinch yourself. It's hard for me to articulate just how it is, but that longevity is something that is not very common in minor league sports, as, as, you, know, as you know. Yeah. Jim Sorosi, Crunch COO. Uh, Jim, thank you for your time. Uh, again, won't be long now before that uh, barn is rocking again. We appreciate uh, stopping by for a couple minutes today. Thank you, sir. Always, Jeff. You're wonderful. Thank you very much.